What's happening everybody, this is on Sean with on Beat Entertainment. Today I'm doing a tutorial in Logic Pro X and I'm going to show you how to use Alchemy to time stretch your samples. Alchemy is a synth that comes with Logic when you buy it um, and it's got a lot of capabilities. It's, it's got over 3,000 sounds that it comes with right out of the box. You can create your own sounds from the ground up. You can create combination sounds. You can import samples and edit the samples, add more sounds to the samples is just a lot of capabilities with with um with alchemy so one of those things that it does very well which we're talking about here today is its ability to time stretch your samples and and it does a very good job at it it's actually a better job than some of the other methods that um that logic uses so um so with that you can see i've got an instance of alchemy pulled up right here if you don't click the plus symbol here and uh, software instrument do your drop down and find alchemy Go ahead and click that, and didn't mean to create one, I already have one. So now what I'm going to do is make sure this is selected, and then I'm going to come down here to this channel and select Alchemy. And it opens up to this browse screen here. Um, what we're going to do for today, we're just going to click over here, come over to Advanced, and then from here we're going to go to File and Initialize Preset. Now what initialize preset does is it just wipes, just gives you a clean slate here to work with. It doesn't erase or delete any of the sounds out of Alchemy, so you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of uh, clears the deck for you to, to be able to bring in your own sample or create your own sound or whatever. So what we're going to do now is um, before we bring our own sample in, each one of these quadrants uh, represents a sound source. Right now, they're all empty except for this one. It's got the default saw wave in it. Um, and that's just because I went up here and I initialized the preset. You, you, if you're seeing clear up here, I think it's clear preset or just clear, uh, that, that I believe is an older version of Logic and, and it's the same thing as initialize. So anyway, now that we've hit initialize preset, again, we've got these four sound sources here. We're only gonna be working with this one right here for now. Um, and this is where we're going to drag the sample in. Now, this A, B, C, and D for sound sources also matches this A, B, C, and D. Um, so when we're working here in, um, in source A, we can go over here and click A, and it's going to open up all the rest of uh, the parameters for A. Rather than just when we're in global mode like we, like we were just in, uh, you only have volume, tune, pan, and this which just has to do with the routing to your filters and, and effects. We're not going to get into that today, but I'm telling you this because we can either drag, what we're going to do here is we're going to drag in a sample and you can drag it in of one of two places. You can either drag it into this quadrant or one of these quadrants, um, or you can go straight over to A and just drag it right above here. And I'll show you both ways here. Let's go back to global. I'm going to go, I have a sample just off screen here. I'm going to grab this and pull it in and as soon as I pull it up here you see everything change so now that I hover it over this I have some options I have additive granular spectral and sampler okay we're gonna drop it in sampler first because I'm gonna show you that one um, but before we do um, I could also have just gone to a like I said and when I drag it over here it's the same thing it just looks um, it just looks a little bit bigger see and there we have additive, spectral, granular, and sampler. So we're going to drop it on sampler. So when you drop, when you when you drag a sample and you drop it just on sampler, all that's going to do is just drop it onto your key bed of your keyboard, and and it'll just operate like a normal old school sampler where you have your you have your root key. But then as we go up, the, the, the sample is going to get shorter because it's going to be playing faster, but it also will get higher in pitch, like almost as if it, when you speed up a record. And let me, um, because it's, it's, uh, the root key is all the way at the bottom of my key bed, so I'm going to transpose this up to 24. There. So now I can play down to. Actually, here's a um, 
keyboard on here for you so you can see what I'm doing. In case you're wondering. All right, any day now. All right. Okay, so that's so that's just sampler. It's just it just provides a, a spot for you to drop the sample. And we could go in here and add. We could go back to global, and here's here's where our sample is on A. We could go to B and add some more stuff, or drag another sample onto B, and then and then uh, adjust the volumes for each, and then they're playing together. Or, um, there's a lot of things we can do here, but that's how if you just want a place to drop your sample and then play it up or down, and and you don't mind if it pitches up or down like that. Um, then just go to sampler very easy all right very quick and very easy now what I'm gonna do here though is go to file and initialize preset again and if I had of come over here and drop that let's say on granular now um, I'm gonna go here and oh I just dropped it onto source a so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna open up a and now Sounds a little weird, right? But we can take care of that a little bit. I'm gonna go back to global. I'm gonna take this filter off. Go back to A, and I'm gonna boost this all the way up. And now, now look if I um, here. That's the root key. But now look if I go down. It's gonna change the. Um, it's gonna change the the pitch of the sample but it's not going to change the length the, the amount of time it takes to play it but now what if I want it to play actually faster well I can come right over here to where it says uh, speed right here and just adjust that I can come down so now this knob is gonna adjust how quickly the sample plays all right if you want to adjust the pitch however you can either go up and down the keys while you're in granular mode or you can come right over here to course and tune And then, of course, this is the uh, fine tuning here. Okay, so you got your your pitch here, you got your speed here. You can do pretty much anything from the screen. Now, this position, um, which is gone now, there you go. This position it refers to the playhead, to the start of the playhead. So, if you don't want it starting right from the beginning of the sample. If you want it starting inward somewhere, then you can just move the position in a little bit. Okay, so that's uh, that's just position. And then you've got a loop mode too. You can turn the loop mode on and, and make the sample loop if you want, or um, and you can set the loop points and everything. So now that's a quick way to do that. And as you saw, it really held up with the sample well, um, even during some extreme stretches. It still sounds really good. Now there's another thing that you can do as well. Um, I'm going to go here and initialize preset again, and then drag this in. Now if I drag it in and drop it in spectral, what spectral is, if you can see, it takes a second to analyze. Um, and what spectral is going to do is the same thing as granular, except um, it's going to behave similarly to granular, which which meaning you can adjust the speed and, and the tuning and everything. But it's not going to give you the actual sample that you fed it. What it's going to give you is a resynthesized version of the sample. So Alchemy, when I dragged it in, Alchemy listened to it, analyzed it, and then resynthesized it. And then this is what it came up with.
And now, um, and now, let me go ahead and speed up. Look how slow that's going now. I can actually turn it all the way down so it's not so it's so slow that it's not even moving at zero percent. And then if I wanted to just sweep through and listen to the sample while it's not moving, I can do that by changing the position while speed's at zero. So, um, so that's pretty cool too. And then you can, there's, there's a lot of options over here that you can use to, to edit your uh, sample as well. Um, of course, not while it's on zero. If I just double click any of these, they go, they jump back to their uh, original positions. Um, you got a, a, a low cut and a high cut filter over here. Really good filters. Um, and some other things that you can mess with and this to me does the best job of, of, um, of doing it now it doesn't resynthesize everything the best um, so so sometimes I think granular will sound better sometimes um, uh, spectral will sound better um, and then of course if you just need a place to drop your sample then use sampler so so that's how to use alchemy to time stretch your samples and a few different ways that you can do it but to me the the best ways are um, or flex time, obviously, and I have a tutorial on that as well. Uh, but then also alchemy, I think, is, is probably my, my second favorite way. So if you would, please click the thumbs up button for me down below. Um, in addition, I'd certainly appreciate your support. And all you have to do for that is hit the red subscribe that you see down there below. That's it. That's all you got to do. Uh, please leave me a comment. I do read all of them, whether it's a follow-up question or maybe it's a different way that you do things or a question on a different topic. Whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on places like Twitter and Instagram. I am at on Sean Beats, and all my social media links are in the description below. So hopefully I see you there too. As always, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.